What's going on people, it is Irish Gunner HD here, you can call me Irish, and today I have just finished playing the Crisis 3 beta, which is out now on Xbox Live Marketplace. I heard from a friend on Twitter that it's not actually out on the PSN store yet, there was some kind of mix-up or mistake there, so it's apparently not out on the PSN store yet, but it's definitely up on Xbox Live, so get on it if you haven't. I, I noticed nobody on my friends list was playing it, so and I even sent uh, Geiger's a message saying that, ask him if he wanted to come play, but he didn't even know that it was up, so if you didn't know what's up, it is up now. Uh, Frankie on PC in 1080p just uploaded a video, so I'm sure people will start to cop on fairly quickly that it's out. And his, his review was very good and very in-depth, but I'm not that good on Crisis, so this is going to be just kind of my feelings on it more than kind of like an in-depth overview of stuff. Well, basically, I'm playing Crash Site on Museum, I believe is the name of the map here, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll just get that out of the way first. On Crisis, even though I had Crisis 2, I'll get into that in a minute, uh, I have no idea how to play the objective in most of the games. I pretty much just stuck to the team deathmatch kind of games in Crisis 2. It's it's a very steep learning curve to get into this game, but before I get into that, I'll kind of just talk about any like improvements over Crisis 2 that that I've noticed in Crisis 3, in this in this beta at least. Obviously it's not finished, and there probably will be more improvements since before the final game, but yeah, just get into it really quickly. Uh, the graphics, more or less the same, I'm sure there's like small differences, and like probably on PC there's big differences. But obviously with the limitations of the hardware on the consoles, the graphics are more or less the same. They look insane. Like, don't get me wrong about that. They look ridiculously good. But uh, I did notice a huge difference. And like a crossbow there. That guy got me a lot in a couple of games that we played together. But um, yeah, so the graphics are basically the same. Obviously, it's like I said, still awesome. But yeah, not hugely different. The gameplay is very, very similar, so if you played Crisis 2, it's very similar mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, there, That's another t topic I'll cover more in depth in a minute. But improvements definitely are the frame drops that I, I used to get crazy frame drops. I'd be playing, I felt like I was only getting like 20 to 25 frames per second on um, Crisis 2. It was a very choppy game, and that's pr more than likely just because it wasn't optimized perfectly for consoles. Uh, I imagine that Crytek did most of the work and development on the PC side of things and then ported it over to consoles, which is kind of the opposite to the Battlefield and Call of Duty way of doing things. But um, it's definitely it's definitely a lot better in the beta, at least. I didn't notice really any frame drops, any kind of lagginess at all. Uh, not lagginess, I said that in my first attempt at this commentary. Uh, not lagginess, like frame drops, you know, that kind of way. Where it just kind of ca can't keep up with the, with the graphics on screen, but... Uh, you'll see here that I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm pulling out all kinds of different rocket launchers and stuff like that. That was completely fluky. I had no idea what I was doing. So, again, uh, that's that's just... I'll, I'll cover that again in a second. But, any more improvements? Uh, the, the games load a lot faster. In Crisis 2, even though the loading screen menu... The loading screen music was awesome. Uh, the, loading sc the, the screens before you went into a game were very, very long. Uh, you just you'd sit there for like five minutes and i don't know whether it's just because i got the game i got crisis 2 very very late on in its life cycle it was like just in between i think it was in between bad company 2 and battlefield 3 sometime at that around that stage like very late on in crisis 2's life cycle i got the game so <coughs> excuse me actually looking for games and trying to find people i would sit there for up to five minutes ten minutes just waiting to find a game so uh, I noticed this, This I joined into a game a lot quicker on this, like it was almost a full lobby immediately, so that's definitely an improvement. Hopefully people stick around and play it a lot longer actually, because apparently I went on the forums and thought, because uh, I was curious on if the Crisis 2, I went on, sorry, I went on the Crisis 2 forums and looked up and like had a research because I was curious as to why I was having such a hard time finding people, and I was wondering whether it was just people weren't playing or what, but or whether it was because it was the end of the life cycle of the game, but apparently people just didn't really like it, and they, not didn't like it, but they kind of just fell off towards the end. And I'm hoping it doesn't go that way with this game, because I'll kind of, I'll kind of get into the actual beta now, so. Crisis 3 is, is more or less a Crisis game. If you've played a Crisis game before, you will know the feeling of it. You will know everything there is to know about it. It's a lot different to, uh, to the kind of Call of Duty and Battlefield games, in the way that it's where like a very simple explanation is where you would expect like your frag grenade and your stun grenade to be 
your right and left bumpers. The left bumper on Crisis is your uh, nano suit's armor, and the right tr the right bumper uh, is your nano suit's invisibility power. And basically, just there's little differences like that where knifing on Call of Duty, if you have it on tactical layout, it's you push down, it's melee. In Crisis, you push down on the right stick, and it does this kind of he hits he hits the enemy with the butt of his gun kind of thing. There are some differences. Uh, the actual feel and the mechanics of the game it's a little more kind of clunkier compared to Battlefield and Call of Duty, uh, but not in a bad way. It's just it's like it's like if you play if you're a Call of Duty player and you go and play Battlefield, it feels very weird. You're just like whoa, this is all different. And then if you're a Battlefield player and you go back to Call of Duty, it's like whoa, this is all different. And then Crisis 3, uh, just on the screen here, I have no idea what's happening. I was like, when I was playing, I was like, what What am I doing? What button did I press? What happened there? Why is this coming up? Like, So yeah, that's what happened there. And I I managed to switch back and get a few shots off from the guy. But obviously, he had the complete advantage there. But yeah, so the, the when you go and play Crisis after playing any other kind of first-person shooter, it's more or less the same. Like you, it, you know what to do. It's kind of intuitive, but there are differences. And uh, there are like different buttons do different things. The D-pad is used quite; it's quite useful. Um, if you see me looking through like a viewfinder thing, that's pressing up on the D-pad, and I'm not sure the purpose of that at all. But uh, yeah, it's I don't know. It's good. Like it's it's you'll if you play first-person shooters, basically you'll know what you're doing if you just give it some time to get used to it. But um, as far as this actual game goes, like I said, I hadn't got any clue what I was doing. I was kind of just running around shooting people, treating it like TDM. I know I shouldn't have been, and if there's any like long time crisis players here playing the objective super hard, I was probably just annoying them <coughs> with my with my awfulness. But what you're looking at here is a cool thing in the crisis series that I've not seen in any other game. When there's like a mounted LMG 50 cal like that, you can actually pick it up and detach it from its stand and run around with it, which I think is awesome. But that leads me into my next point about crisis games, which is the time to kill in these games in the crisis series. Is Serieses, series, uh, <laughs> however that's pronounced. The the time to kill is ridiculously long. If but like the way I see it, it's like Call of Duty is way too fast, Crisis is way too long, and Battlefield is just right. Crisis or Call of Duty, if you get seen by someone else, you're dead. Or if you see someone else and you've got reasonable aim, they're dead. Like they don't, you can't run away into cover unless like you're just running around the corner. And even then, lag compensation will probably get you. But we <laughs> we won't we won't go into that. But um. And then Battlefield, I think, is perfect because it's if you get, if someone gets two shots on you, you still have plenty of time. You can run away. You can do the little kind of air quotes Halo jump to get away. Whereas in in battle or in sorry Crisis, um, you have to stay on target for a long, long time. And that's not something that like is a problem. It's not something that they'll ever patch. It's actually a feature of the gameplay. Uh, it's it's what they're going for. It's the kind of feel that they're going for. Uh, it, I don't particularly like it. I find that it's just you feel like you should have got that guy because you got so many bullets on him, but he ends up turning around with like a shotgun, and shotguns kill you in like three or four hits. So if if a shotgun hits you in three or four hits, you more than likely don't stand a chance. Of course, I could just have bad aim because I'm not used to controls and stuff like that. So I might be a little bit biased, not in that, not not in like a biased in a good way, in like a. Just in the sense that I haven't got good aim anyway, so I can't really judge. But to, in my hands, I just I think that the time to kill could be a little faster. But like I said, that's kind of what they're going for. That's like the feel that they're that the crisis gives you. But um, it's good. It's definitely good. Like I don't. It, it's free, so I don't see why you wouldn't download it unless you've got like a one of the original Xboxes with like four gigabyte hard drive space or whatever. But I definitely recommend it. Um, I don't know. I can't say too much bad about it. It's a beta, so anything that it, there is bad about it, they it could easily be fixed. I haven't noticed anything particularly bad about it. Uh, not graphically, not gameplay wise. Nothing stood. Nothing stood out in a few games that I played as being like overly bad or game breaking or anything like that. So here, I'm actually trying to play the objective. I think that it says like hold X to grab. I'm like, okay, I've grabbed it, and now I'm just kind of holding it. What is this like? What do I do now? But and then that's cool actually that's something that they didn't have in crisis 2 that kind of the bullet replay thing where like it's it reminds me of sniper sniper elite v2 if anyone remembers that game where it follows the bullet and that was pretty cool and then at the very end of the game here we're coming to the end uh, i'll say just that it's a very very good game crisis games always are they're a little different difficult to get into they've got quite a steep learning curve but 
definitely I mean it's free like so why not it takes quite a while to download actually for only a one and a half gig file but it did for me anyway but definitely give it a try it, it is up on the Xbox Live marketplace now like I said so we won the game I'll just say that if you enjoyed the video please do leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here these actually it shows your kill cam here just before I say goodbye it shows your kill cam and then it shows you your highlights which is also a new feature over um over crisis 2 they didn't have that in crisis 2 so that's cool not that i remember anyway but yeah it's got a little highlight reel that shows you your best kills or whatever like that but thanks for watching the video and goodbye